never handled a tornado case before. Meteorological hazards always present a challenging set of variables. It is the totality of the bone damage that there is. No, 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 no. Uh uh. Do you know how much sodium is in this? I'm planning to have a low sodium dinner. I'll be fine. Fine. You're just going to swell up. Well, I mean, swell more than you already are. This is a bad word, swell. You know, I'm just going to get your fruit. It's much better. It's healthier for you. Okay, that's it. You're getting way too overprotective. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's bad enough that you do it in our personal life, but now it's affecting how you treat me out in the field. What are you talking about? This morning, the crime scene. Yeah, I wasn't being overprotective. I was just helping you. Now, I didn't know that was a crime. Brennan! The remains are still being cleaned, but I did some preliminary x-rays. I think I found cause of death. I'll tell you what, if I was being overprotective, I would tell you to put your sweater on because there's a really bad draft coming from this air conditioning vent. What is it? Well, the victim suffered three distinct injuries to the right parietal. You think that all three were caused by the same object? That's my hypothesis, yes. Have Hodgins uh, swab for particulate residue. We'll check for cranial staining once the bones are cleaned. Of course. Dr. Brennan, I have to go. My mother's calling and she gets worried if I don't answer. Fine, I should... Oh, hello? Hello? Could you bring your sweater?